What happens when an owner falls behind on their homeowners association assessments? According to a standard provision called, the PUD Rider, a lender can pay delinquent HOA dues in order to stop the HOA from foreclosing. According to the, remedies, term of the PUD Rider, any payments by a lender are added to outstanding balance of the loan plus interest at the note rate unless the borrower and lender agree to other terms of repayment. What happened in this case? In this case, the borrower was deceased so there was no agreement to change the terms of the PUD Rider. Nation Star lied to the court and recorded false claims in order to steal 27 to 63 White Sage from the deceased borrower's estate. In May 2013 Bank of America's agent tendered $825 to cover the $825 assessments then due. The HOA's agent, Red Rock, unilaterally rejected B of A's 2013 offer. In May 2014 Nation Star offered the HOA one year of delinquent assessments to close escrow on a $367,500 auction.com sale. The HOA's agent, Red Rock, covertly rejected Nation Star's offer in July 2014. In August 2014, Red Rock sold the property for $63,100 without notice. In 2016, Nation Star sued to void the HOA's foreclosure, arguing that Red Rock's rejection of B of A's 2013 tender of $825 assessments was unfair to Nation Star. Nation Star did not claim that the HOA sale was unfair because Red Rock rejected Nation Star's own 2014 $1,100 offer made to close escrow on the auction.com sale. In fact, Nation Star and Red Rock both lied in court to cover up that Nation Star had offered $1,100 to close the auction.com sale, but then had inexplicably turned a blind eye when Red Rock sold it three months later for 18% of the previous auction price. On February 25, 2019, Nation Star's agent, Mohammed Hamid, fraudulently signing as the Vice President of Bank of America, executed a rescission of Nation Star's 2014 recorded claim that it was the beneficiary as B of A's successor in interest. Immediately thereafter, Nation Star's same agent, Mohammed Hamid, executed an assignment of the Hansen loan from Wells Fargo to Nation Star, this time Mohammed Hamid signed as the Vice President of Wells Fargo. Three days later, on February 28, 2019, Nation Star filed an affidavit in court admitting the Nation Star was only the servicing bank for the Hansen loan and not the beneficiary who was owed the $389,000 balance outstanding since 2011 after the deceased borrower's death. In March 2019 Nation Star filed another false affidavit in court, claiming that the HOA sale was valid to extinguish the deceased borrower's estate's interest in the title whereas Red Rock's rejection of B of A's 2013 tender of $825 was unfair to Nation Star. Nation Star still did not claim that the HOA sale was unfair to Nation Star due to Red Rock's rejection of Nation Star's own $1,100 offer a few weeks before Red Rock sold the property without notice. Nation Star did not admit that its $1,100 offer was made at all, let alone rejected. Nation Star did not cite any legal authority that would allow it, or any other lender, to unilaterally disregard the contract provision in the PUD Rider that limited a lender's recovery of assessments paid on behalf of the owner to the amount paid plus any interest owed. Nation Star simply transformed the rejected tender of delinquent assessments made by a different lender into a de facto foreclosure to benefit Nation Star and damage the deceased borrower's estate. Nation Star simply lied to the court and recorded false claims in the Clark County official property records to confiscate 27 to 63 White Sage from the rightful owner the estate of the deceased borrower. Nation Star's actions were for the corrupt purpose of collecting on a $389,000 debt that was not owed to Nation Star. Nation Star's fraud was facilitated by corrupt attorneys who should be disbarred and face criminal penalties along with their clients. None of this can even remotely be considered innocent error. The attorneys for Bank of America and Nation Star and many other lenders have successfully played this fraudulent IOU shell game many, many times. Please, Nevada Attorney General Ford, it's time to say, time's up.